You already know what it is. It's your boy laid back. With another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, scary TikToks. You up to bat. Bah. It's your boy laid back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. The kids to be free in 2023. The kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another reaction. We got a scary TikTok compilation going on. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad. What's popping? Chilling facts. Why in your house and no one's around to feed your pets? They'll start with your squishy parts, being your ears, eyes, nose, and even lips. This Whoa. actually happened to an older woman. The only difference was she wasn't dead. She was just paralyzed. You are 120 times more likely to be killed by a family member if you win the lottery. When decapitated, Dang. you're actually alive for three more seconds before you end up dying. Frog has enough poison to kill 10 to 15 people in its lifetime. This frog is known as the poison golden dart frog, and it's located in the Pacific coast of Colombia. By just barely touching this frog, it'll secrete enough poison to kill a grown man in 10 to 15 minutes. Brain-eating amiibos exist, and they're living in our water. Naglary flowlaria brain-eating disease is found in warm lakes, rivers, and of course, untreated swimming pools. This amiibo enters your body through your nose, and travels up to your brain from there. Over 97% of these cases are fatal. This is the youngest mother in history. Lena Medina was 5 years, 7 months old when she gave birth to her 6-pound son. A woman donated her kidney to her boss to save his Five life. Five years old. He then fired her because it took her too long to recover from the operation. That's what you call a bad person. These are videos you can never watch at night. Okay, the video I'm about to show you was captured from a dash cam inside of a cab in Japan. And it clearly shows a ghost getting inside. What? And apparently in Japan, the ghosts of the people who died in the 2011 tsunami don't know they're dead and they get into taxis confused. What? This video is absolutely terrifying and here it is. Shit, I probably should have my hoodie. I don't even see nothing back there. Oh, I do. Is a ghost right there in the middle? It just vanished? I was back there? Hell no, nah, I ain't looking at that shit. Okay, so that's Damn. absolutely terrifying. I don't know what to think about this, but all I know is I'm not sleeping tonight. Mm -hmm. So apparently Disney World is haunted. There are park attendants that claim in the Mission Space ride in Disney World, you can see ghostly figures. So when Mission Space first opened, it was the most controversial ride ever opened in Disney's history. Okay. If you've never ridden the ride, it's a motion simulator that simulates a trip to Mars. Okay. The original version doesn't exist anymore, but when it opened, it was so intense. In the first three years alone, 194 people had the paramedics called. Damn. They were getting sick, they were dizzy, people were passing out, and all Disney did was add barf bags and a motion sensor warning. Wow. But because of that, two people ended up dying on the ride, including a little boy. And park attendants who have worked on the ride say that it's been haunted ever since. Especially Damn. in Bay 3, where a ghostly figure of a little boy can be seen running around. They mm -hmm. also say that one day, just a tiny handprint appeared on one of the vents. The ride also reportedly has a ton of technical issues, but if you say the boy's name and ask him to stop playing, apparently they stop. What? I shared that. Edwin Becker was born in Chicago, Illinois in 1945. Yeah. Natural, and most people treat the subject lightly. Most people are skeptics and they're not interested or concerned in the mysterious things which sometimes occur around them. However, today we have the story of one family which says it was forced into becoming concerned. Strange things begin happening. Lights would go out and electrical problems plagued the house. Doors would open and close on their own uh -uh. and kitchen objects would shift across the countertops. Hell no. Getting creeped out now tried to find a logical explanation for everything that happened, and uh, we couldn't. Mm. Edwin and Marcia were awakened by the disembodied crying of an old woman in the dining room. What? The only thing they could both agree on was that the house needed to be exercised. The NBC news crew later arrived, and their work led to the first U.S. television broadcast of an exorcism. Wow. AI is getting out of hand. And here's why. About a week ago, a mother living in Arizona received a phone call, and when she answered, it was her daughter crying and begging her mother to save her. She was obviously confused and terrified, and when she questioned her, a man got on the phone. He demanded one million dollars or else her daughter would get harmed. She was absolutely horrified. It was a parent's worst nightmare. But then she remembered her daughter was actually upstairs. It turned out a random guy was using AI to scare and to scam people. Wow. If AI could do this, who knows what other terrifying things it could do. But wow. my question is, what do you guys think?
I'm sorry, NASA just found what? Oh god, what's happening now? Oh god. This NASA? is a NASA spacecraft which is 19,000 feet above the surface of Jupiter. Now you probably okay. know Jupiter is huge as a gas planet and it's a bloody long way away. Take a look at this photo, which the spaceship captured today. A mysterious green light coming from the planet. Like, what the hell is that? Oh, Apparently shit. it's believed to be lightning, but who actually knows? This hasn't been proven yet, and people are still looking into it. But okay. who knows? Hit that follow button, and I will keep you updated. Have you ever heard of a cargo cult? No. World War One. there's soldiers moving across different countries and different areas, and they go to make camp one time. They meet an indigenous tribe. Well, they trade things with them, like medicine, food. Yeah, these like you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Exactly. And these indigenous people saw how advanced these soldiers were and like their medicine helped them live longer and all these mm -hmm. advancements and they thought that it was a like gift from a gift from yeah. above mm -hmm. eventually after the war ends these soldiers leave but these indigenous people don't really understand it like yeah. why mm -hmm. these people just left and they want them to come back yeah and so they, they took all their stuff with them exactly huh? and mm -hmm. so they actually recreate a lot of the stuff they saw at the time when the soldiers were visiting they've made airplanes that not workable work? ones oh. but like they've made like life-size looking like airplanes out of like bamboo and all these other things they've made a satellite a huge oh, satellite wow. dish with like hay and there's even a video of them with lames and everything making like a runway with a person like oh. doing this trying to think like maybe if, if they, they do, do that this, it'll make it happen th they'll come back that is so sad this wow. is a haunted city hidden beneath edinburgh and despite my wow. best efforts my bosses are sending me underground to what has been described by the bbc as one of the most haunted places in britain these oh, are the shit. south bridge vaults buried under the city is a labyrinth of tunnels where the seedy underbelly of 18th century edinburgh thrived. They were originally created as storage vaults for the businesses above ground, but they were soon taken over by people seeking shelter or criminals seeking concealment. And this place was not somewhere you came to live, but somewhere you came to die. The vaults Ooh. are dark, damp, and freezing cold. They used to be lit with fish oil lamps, which combined with the stench of stale waste and chamber pots made them barely habitable. And yet, it is estimated that over 3,000 people live down here. Wow. And there seems to be some people left behind. The cobbler is a ghost who has been seen working in this corner. He particularly hates people with white shoes like me, because because it meant you were rich enough to be carried through the streets in one of these 18th century taxis. And worst of all is the watcher. He's said to be seen standing in the corner, just staring and watching. But the longer you linger, the more aggressive and territorial he becomes. And many people have been sick and emerged covered in bruises and scratches. Have a good day. This shit is crazy, yo. But it's like super interesting too. Proof that animals are evolving. Part 13. Oh, a killer shit. whale off the coast of Washington once started the trend of wearing a dead salmon on its head. What? Other orcas in the pods started doing it too, and soon enough, other pods in the area had picked up on the fad. The behavior had faded by the next summer, making it one of the first cultural trends ever observed in nature. Wow. Here's an amazing video of a rat using a stick to set off a trap so that it can safely snag a tree. As a result of all the rats we've killed with traps over the centuries, we've basically forced them to start evolving toward the usage of tools. Damn. This thoughtful otter at a Chinese aquarium is more helpful and productive than most people you'll ever work with. This is just one example of why otters are said to be one of the smartest animals in the water. Mm. That's adorable. The U.S. Navy's Marine Mammals Program has started teaching California sea lions how to play video games. The program has trained over a hundred sea lions and dolphins in underwater tasks that they can perform better than humans. Wow. These games seek to improve not only their cognitive function, but also their mental health and happiness since they genuinely enjoy playing them. Wow. Who doesn't like playing a, you know, a good video game though? Come on, man. Everybody loves video games. Oh no. Okay, no, 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 silly. But it exploded, and they were both found dead. Saw 3 has the most brutal traps of the entire franchise. Let's start off with the rack. This man is strapped into this machine that is twi- I might need to start reacting to them Saw movies. What y'all think? I seen some of the comments y'all was talking about. I need to do a Saw movie reaction. Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Y'all let me know. Twisting his limbs one by one a complete 360 degrees around. It does his arms, his legs, and then finally his neck. Very slow, very brutal way to go. Then we have the man who is strapped to the bottom of a pit and poured pig guts all on top of him, where if he doesn't escape in time, he will drown in guts. And then you have Damn. the woman that's being frozen solid. True agony, I can't pick one. Mandela effects in movies you've never heard of. Darth Vader doesn't say, Luke, I am your father, and the Empire Strikes Back. Everyone seems to remember the line wrong. The real line is, no, I am your father. No, I 
am the father. In the iconic 80s movie Jaws, the line, we're gonna need a big boat, is actually, we're gonna need a bigger boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. In the he, movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, he's the myth buster. He is the myth buster. The quote, mirror, mirror on the wall, is actually magic mirror on the wall. Magic mm. mirror on the wall. This is the most disturbing and heartbreaking video wow. you will ever watch. why you always lock your doors. Will from Will Whereabouts was camping in the middle of the woods Gotta in Box Hill, doors. UK. I think this will do for tonight's stealth camping. <laughs> Freezing cold! That'll be a good way just to get some heat in here in the mornings and in the evenings when it really does start to drop. I've decided to put my gas portable stove just sitting on the boxes which it goes in because I'm gonna spark it up and get a bit of nice warm air to come through. When suddenly, late at night, he's awoken by what sounds like human voices. You better lock your door, bro. I don't think I'm going to be getting much sleep tonight. Will explains he was all alone in that site. He was exploring a haunted park when he oh, captures a statue before. doing this. A man named Alan Mora went to explore the Reino Magico Disney theme park located in Veracruz, Mexico. Seen this Due to multiple life-taking incidents, the place was abandoned a few years after its opening in 1988, leaving the park to become a desolate land. As Alan is making his way through the haunted location, they spot a Snow White statue, and as he begins to focus on it, this happens. The statue begins to move on its own, but as they get closer, it's seen on a different location frozen in place. Could this phenomenon relate to the 1985 Ireland case where Virgin Mary statues were also seen moving on their own? The worst internet trends to ever exist. Part <sighs> 1. In 2012, the cinnamon challenge took the internet by storm. Thousands of people were uploading videos of them trying to swallow a spoonful <laughs> of cinnamon, but little did anyone know what? is that this was extremely dangerous. Most people ended up inhaling the cinnamon instead of swallowing. This mm. could cause an allergic reaction and affect your ability to breathe. 
Because mm. of this challenge, multiple people ended up passing away. Damn. The Blue Whale Challenge was a game that gave people tasks to do within a 50-day period. It would start off innocent, but slowly get more and more disturbing. This would all lead up to the last day where the game would ask the person to unalive themselves. What? Unfortunately, over a hundred people passed away because of this trend. Y'all keep y'all keep sticking up with them trends and trying to stick with the trends and shit like hell no. Alright, that was scary and creepy TikTok videos to watch before going to bed. That was creepy. They definitely had a lot of creepy ones in there, man. But the fact that TikTok has like endless amounts of this type of shit. It's crazy the stuff that's on TikTok. It's like, it's crazy. But if y'all enjoy this, man, y'all let me know in the comments below, man. Till next time, self-love and positivity, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.